good, YouTube? Uh, today we're going to talk about the things you should not do at basic training, such as, and I'm going to go straight into it just because my camera is about to die. Don't talk during chow. So during reception, you might have a little bit of leeway, uh, you know, to you know to be talking while you're eating. Uh, it's really frowned upon. You shouldn't do it. But when you actually get to your basic training unit and you start eating at their chow hall, avoid at all costs to talk to anybody. Because um, if you do get caught eating during the chow, uh, you will get smoked afterwards. And it doesn't feel nice to be smoked when you have a full stomach full of food. So keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing is don't eat the ice cream. Uh, if a drill sergeant tells you you can eat the ice cream, don't eat it. Just don't eat it anyways. You just want to stay away from the ice cream. The ice cream is bad news, so don't get caught eating the ice cream. I had a, had a battle buddy who got caught eating ice cream uh, at the chow hall. I think it was like for dinner. And man, we all got it. Let me tell you that. Next one is uh, don't sneak uh, snacks to the bay. Like Anything that's in the chow hall, leave it at the chow hall. Don't bring any... You know, a lot of people like to bring in uh, like granola bars and stuff like that. Like to sneak in fruit in their uh, in their uh, uniform, and so when they get to the bay, they end up eating it. And uh, just don't do that. It's it's gonna be bad news. You don't want to be you don't wanna be the one who's responsible for getting the whole entire platoon uh, smoked in the middle of the night. So it's something that you shouldn't do. Uh, number four, uh, don't get a battle boo. That's right. Don't. When you go to basic training, you're there to do your job, to become a soldier. Don't be one of those guys or, or girls who uh, decides they want to they want to start dating soldiers at basic training. First of all, it's actually um, frowned upon so bad that they can actually kick you out from your company, and you can actually get um, in trouble pretty bad, UCMJ. Uh, so yeah, don't do that. Stay away from the females in that aspect of um, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, just don't do it. Uh, honestly, after you get done from basic training, after you're done with AIT, then you can start looking for partners. But uh, right now, it's not a good time. Uh, doesn't concern you to be. So anyways, uh, next one is don't talk in formation. When you're in formation, uh, just don't talk at all. Just avoid talking. If someone talks to you, ignore them. Try to whisper it. Don't be so sneaky about it either. Just don't talk in formation. It's better for your platoon not to talk in formation because it's going to be those who talk. And with comes talking, comes farting. No farting in formation, please. That sucks when you're tired and you're in formation and the guy or the girl in front of you decides to rip a big fat fart. Like, no, it's like, that's like the worst part of being in formation is people farting. That's so disgusting, especially after at, after eating MREs. That sucks. Uh, so guys, yeah, don't fart. Uh, don't drop your weapon and don't lose your weapon. So you're going to get issued an M4. I got issued an M4. Um, some units still get issued out the M16. Uh, but regardless of what weapon you get, do not lose it. Do not leave it unattended. Carry your weapon with all with you at all times if you can't carry your weapon because you got to go to the to the latrines then make sure a battle buddy has your weapon for you don't lose it don't drop your weapon you drop your weapon on accident you're dropping with it what does that mean yeah you're gonna start doing some push-ups and yeah it, it's just like it's bad news don't drop don't lose your weapon the next one is do not fall asleep don't fall asleep in class don't fall asleep anywhere actually the only time you're allowed to sleep is when you get your personal time at the end of the day, at the barracks. Well, the phone died. I mean, my uh, camera. Sorry about that. My camera died. Anyways, uh, the last part that I was going to talk about was. Uh, I forgot. Fuck! It's on my phone. <laughs> what was it? Oh, okay. Anyways, my uh, my cam my camera died, so now I'm using my iPhone. The last thing I was going to talk about is do not be a sick call ranger. Just avoid going to sick call if you don't have to. Don't, if you need to go to sick call, go to sick call. But don't go to sick call to miss out on your PT. You know what I mean? Like, it's a pain in the ass just to even go to sick call in the first place. So, 
my advice for you is you just get through the PT. It's not that bad. Uh, you know, the better, the more effort you put in your PT, the better the outcome and the results are gonna. You know, it's just gonna be a lot better if you just go through your PT. Uh, that, that's my advice. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope you liked this video. Hope it was. I hope it was informative. Informative. If you have any questions at all pertaining basic training, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll, I'll be sure to answer your questions. Um, again, yeah, I hope you find this informative, and yeah, pretty much it. Enjoy your time at basic training, and uh, yeah, signing out.